Online dating is becoming more popular with sites like Tinder and Bumble. And more than that, my goodness, Valentine's Day is approaching and more people are creating accounts. The author of Hashtag InstaLovers, Andy Liu, well, she's here with us this morning to talk about the best ways to navigate online dating. Good morning. Good morning, Ginger. Good morning, San Diego. It's I'm so, so happy to be here. We love having you here. And let's face it, you know, online dating, even though what I, I gave to, I think, hookup sites, <laughs> It's much bigger than that because as we were talking about, everybody seems to do something online or via an app. It's how we now court and connect because we want the convenience of sitting at home and being able to do something while the kids are asleep or <laughs> just having the opportunity to meet someone when we are in perhaps a smaller town or even a larger town that you wouldn't otherwise get the chance to meet. But in my four years of research, I did find out that a lot of people are looking for a deeper connection now and not just, you know, something quick with the swipe life so I'm creating a slow dating movement and helping people to sort of get to know each other a little bit more okay let's talk about that because you've written a book but you didn't just write this based on your own experience in you know a single life you actually went on a journey and did some research tell us, uh, tell us about that and in that time I would be typing away on the apps and saying listen I'm researching for a book and a lot of the guys would be saying oh yeah well um, can I be in the book or that's a really good line I'm gonna <laughs> use that one and I said well honey you were already in the book and it's really not a line and so when the book came out they were like am I actually in the book well you'll have to read it to find out wow that's <laughs> hilarious but it is kind of a good pickup line you got to be honest you know, <laughs> one, of, one of my biggest concerns with the online dating because you hear so much about the catfishing you know people taking a picture like you and, pret and pretending they look like you but they're actually somebody else so what are some of the safeguards that we can do if you are going to be online dating I've sorted all that out for you in my research I have a chapter called how to weed out the weirdos Ooh. yeah the first thing you need to do is actually ask for their other social media accounts if they cannot give up you know the Instagram straight away or the Facebook they might actually be hiding something but you have to ascertain whether they are a weirdo or they're just socially awkward I mean let's face it you've got to almost be a comedic writer to turn that text into a date yeah, that's true, but I guess you could FaceTime, you know, because there still has to be that organic connection. But the fact of the matter is, folks just, at least this younger generation, they, they aren't the let's go meet in a bar. Well, that's right. And a lot of people do like to do everything online. We need to know how to be safe, how to turn that text into a date really quickly. And then, of course, when you uh, pick up the phone, you need to hear a little bit of tonality because we miss out on all of that sort of thing when we're courting just on text. So then the next step is to actually get to know someone like you said there could be a FaceTime video call and then after that I would like to hope that somebody would meet up within a week otherwise you're just having this online relationship for a really long time and it's an imaginary person that you might actually have no chemistry with whatsoever and you can weed that out pretty so pretty yeah. quickly as soon as you meet them all right so uh, give me the scoop on the good apps like our different apps uh, I suspect certain apps are for hooking up certain apps are maybe people are a little more serious what are you finding the good apps for actually dating and forming a relationship ginger there are so many different apps but what my personal philosophy is as a certified wellness coach is that how you present is what you will attract because we are reflections mm -hmm. of each other and I found that the people in San Diego are really sort of um, deeper connected people it really is one of the wellness meccas of the world and I really think that if you show up as queen you're going to attract your king um, so it's really important to just be that person if you want that person and you know there are just a bunch of different apps I mean you can go online I found in America hinge is a really nice one we don't have hinge. that in Australia okay. yeah I mean but it doesn't really matter because you can even slide into someone's DM on Instagram and start a conversation and then all of a sudden that becomes a way to meet someone as well so I've got a whole list in the book um, but I think it's really important to find that hashtag self-love first before you put yourself mm -hmm. on the market and it really is a market you know it's interesting because I think uh, my parents generation they would never have thought you could actually have a relationship by somebody that you met online you know just that seems so intangible but it's really what our world is yes yeah. this this day and age yeah and you know what a lot of people get married out of this in the back of the book it's not all DM disasters there's also a whole bunch of love stories I've also got some uh, romantic fueling recipes in time for Valentine's Day oh. yeah and a libido boosting foods but to get kissable breath as a wellness coach I always like to recommend having parsley it works from the gut as parsley. well yeah ditch the breath mints I've got so many tips but and then tricks you get something in your teeth well you could juice it as well <laughs> oh I yeah. see okay so juice some parsley yeah it's fantastic it works so 
so much better than breath mints. So okay. I've got a whole bunch of tips and tricks in the book, Insta Lovers, and it's not just about, you know, hookups and things like that, swipe life. It's also about having a really well-rounded view on yourself and the world so that you can attract the ideal love or lover. All right. Are you already working on a part two or a follow-up? Well, maybe you can contribute and become the revised edition <laughs> contributor. <laughs> Insta lovers and Insta mothers? I don't know. I've got that side of it. I've got the parenting side of having di kids that date online right. because they break up. I, I still can't get over it. Kids break up via text now. Yep. Well, How you leave someone shows a lot about your character. Oh. And I always think it's better to leave somebody better than you found them. So... You know, I talk about that in the book as well. Okay. You know, be a good person. Are you kind? You might have a great selfie, but are you selfless and are you mm. kind? That's so important to bring it back to that. All right, where can we get your book? Well, you can go onto my website, okay. andylu.com. That's A-N-D-I-L-E-W.com. And I want to get to know the people of San Diego better. I actually just decided I'll throw in a free coaching call look for anyone you. that wants to buy the book. Hey, yeah, look let's, out. Let's chat. I'll help you through all of this and help you to navigate your way through it all. All right, well, I already feel like you've left us better than when uh, you, we started. You know, yeah. we're better for getting to know you Aww, and finding you. out about this. Thank you so much, right. Ginger. Andy, thanks so much. Okay, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so now you know. Uh,